Hey guys, what's going on? Levi Pearl. I got something special. I'm excited. All right, stay tuned. I'm gonna do an unboxing. All right, this is about my um, wanting to convert my HPT 100 to a submation printer. Didn't work, so that's fine. There's reasons why it didn't work because this machine apparently the ink heats up as it's laying down on the paper because of that submation evaporates when heat hits it so i will it turns into a a gas so therefore it doesn't really work with the machine anyways we're gonna try a new process and that's why i'm doing this video i'm excited because i've been working with that printer the hpt 100 that you just saw for weeks now trying to get it to to uh print sublimation i couldn't do it that doesn't mean somebody else could do it but for me i'm thinking about taking a new direction and what i did was this all right cool so this is it right here all right it's the canon uh yeah the canon printer uh specifically the pigsma g1220 printer right so this is a as i don't know if you can see it you know what let's do the unboxing all right, cool. So this is the printer right here. All right. Um, I need to find scissors. Hold on. All right. Cool. There we go. So inside is the printer. Let's take it out and see how it looks. All right. All right, cool. So right here we have the printer. We have the ink, so it comes with, looks like three black inks. So that's one, two, three. Then you have the, this one says magenta. This is the cyan. And then this one's the yellow. It's funny, the yellow looks orange. <laughs> you see it? But it's okay. Um, so those are the inks that come with it. So all together, they give you about, let's see, three three six all right guys so and ladies so this also comes with like a manual thing i'm not gonna use it cool so the most important thing right now is the hood so we're gonna remove all the tape we're gonna check the actually you know what let me check the hood real quick All right, guys, again, welcome to Levi the Pell. Um, I kind of took a break off of uh, the video. So if you see me in different clothing, uh, that's why. Um, so I'm just doing the other portion right now. Uh, when you see it, it's going to be maybe a few days later. Anyways, so what we got going on is the summation printer. So again, this is the Canon uh, printer. Uh, a lot of people have been saying you can't submit on a Canon because the print head itself, once it's laying down the ink, it starts to heat up. And usually with sublimation, the, the heat starts the gas process, meaning the ink turns into a gas, and that's how it dies into the fabric. So, or vapor in other words um, so yeah because of that it's not supposed to happen but I'm using an equal tank so with the equal tank I should be able to get different results who knows but we're definitely going to try all right um, if you haven't take the time to like and subscribe I'm gonna do more videos on this if this works out if not uh, you probably won't see the video if it does and that means it did work out and I'll definitely throw you some more videos on like Canon how you can submit on a Canon printer uh, That is the Eagle tank Canon printer. Okay, um, so If you look behind me, I actually have a shelf my wife put it together for me the day after I mean Yeah, the day after I got this video set up so I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, this is the shelf right here. And I've divided the shop. All I did was just I put a wall 
right here on this section is where you get to the um, the utility, uh, the gas tank, and I don't know, water boiler, whatever you want to call it. It's a basement. All right. So, yeah, this is the shelf right here. Just wanted to show it off real quick. All right. So, all right. Now that we've shown it off, this is what we're going to focus on right there. Canon Eco Tank. All right. Um, actually, Canon doesn't call theirs Eco Tank. They call it something. Uh, so something. Uh, I don't know exactly what. Anyways, you know, I always lose my, my wording. So, um, English technically is a second language for me. I was raised here for a while, but still, I'm from IET. You might call it Haiti. Uh, um, so, yeah, let's get this going. All right, what I'm going to do right now, I have the printer all set up. I have the paper on there. Uh, this one is actually the, what's that thing called again? I think it's the sub, sub R or something like that, paper, sublimation paper. But either way, you're going to get to see it. It's pretty amazing. Let's turn this baby on. Alright, let's get a close-up actually. Okay, cool. So, I turned the printer on. It's charging. Um, let me just give you a close up how it looks like real quick. So, all right, if you can see it right here is a button that you turn the printer on with. So all the buttons are on top. All right. Paper size, all that stuff. Check and see if okay. Yada, yada. All right. Right here, if you press this, this is supposed to, if there's like a misfeed, I think this is supposed to like force the paper down or something like that okay uh, let's take a look at the hood again as you can see the ink is all charged the yellow red um, blue and black is all ready to go in other words these right here have now loaded onto this they're perfectly in line and yeah this is where the black ink is, right there, okay, All right, and this is where the regular inks are, you see, again, this is where the black ink is, and this is where the other colors are, so that's how the hood looks like, um, before it charges the ink, it's going to look empty, right, what you want to do is, first put, load it up with all the inks, and then, plug it in don't plug it before you put the ink okay because the minute you plug it the machine is going to think think that there's ink inside it's going to start pulling the um the ink through the line and all you're going to get is just empty um air just flowing through so you don't want to do that all right okay cool so it's all charged ready to go we're going to do a printout Okay, so we're gonna go to the computer. All right, cool. So, okay, so let's go right here. All right, I already have it all set. All right, cool. So right now I'm using the Canon. Uh, it says G1020 series, but this is supposed to be the G1220. I believe they're the same thing. When I plug the, um, I, I usually do my ink, I mean my printers um, via USB connection. I try not to use the Wi-Fi because the Wi-Fi um, sometimes disconnects and I don't like just trying to print something I can't. I want direct connection. All right, so that's why I do that. Okay, cool. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to um, the printer. All right. Click manage. And we're going to do a test print real quick to see if the printer is awake. All right. Automatically, you get this right here. If you can see it. All right. So what you're looking at is a display of what's supposed to print. Let's start printing. And the reason why we're doing that is to check to see if the printer can actually print. So 
the memory, I mean the information is going to the printer. Now it's thinking and hopefully it prints. Once it prints, we're gonna start loading our first image to do the sublimation printing. Oh, also, I got a new phone. Yeah, I was uh, tired of not having enough memory to do these videos and also I wanted to be able to um, do my lives watch my live and be able to use the phone app so I can uh, um, how can I say it uh, so I can show you certain things how to order stuff on Amazon and this and that and phones usually have display apps where you can go in and see what's going on so yeah right now we're just waiting for it to print so it's thinking okay I'm gonna pause it alright cool we are back looks like the printer is trying to load on the the paper any minute now Oop. looks like there was an issue all right there's an issue in the computer let's take a look and see what's going on okay printing oh preparing for printing Wow, this thing, man, this thing takes a long time to charge up. Finally, it's about freaking time. Look at that, can't. What the heck is going on here? Is it too much paper? I think it's too much paper. Oh, yeah, definitely too much paper in here. Okay, cool. So, kind of figured out it was too much paper. Was it even, oh, tchah, that's funny. There was no paper in it. Alright, my mistake. So, apparently there's a section on this side. I had put the paper in, and um, it was holding the paper, but the paper wasn't exactly in the print area where you can actually print it. So... I now told the printer everything is okay, the paper is in. It's checking for the paper. So earlier it didn't print because it was looking for the paper. Hey, where's the paper? I don't have it here. And uh, I just fixed it. Now it's thinking about the printer, uh, the paper. It's about to print. Damn. There it is. All right, cool. There was an error code. I had to like remove it from the computer. After I removed it and said everything was okay, the printer said, all right, cool. I'm ready to print now. So again, guys, uh, I've done a test print before on this. Obviously, I'm not going to show you this without first testing it and finding out if it's good or not. Um, everything came out good. Actually, what printed was this. If you notice, the color is a little bit brownish. Whenever you do sublimation, that's supposed to happen. The reason why the black look a little brownish is because um, when it goes, th there's something with the paper that makes it look different in color. But either way, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be uh, black. Actually, this one looks a little bit blacker than the other one. Wow. Mm. Hey. This is a you know what? Should I do it? Huh. Alright. Well either way we have the the test print. Test print is okay. 
um, as you can see the blue is very vibrant the black is on there and the black actually looks black interesting because on the other paper the first print I did it looked brown but now it looks black I think it's because all the colors went through the line a lot of people don't realize um, black doesn't always print black by itself sometimes it mixes with other colors to create give you that difference in tint of black or whatever type of dark color uh, when it comes to black that um, the machine says it should be okay so now I'm gonna print um, my logo and then I'm gonna put it on a shirt but most of these I already have sublimation printing on the back so ooh, actually when luck this one does not have it oh also in sublimation whenever you get the subly R I think it's called paper the sign that you're supposed to print on looks a little bit tan where and then the back side is actually white because they've coated the paper um, with a special sublimation coat so it can release easier off of the paper than um, the white side all right so let's remove the other papers all right cool we're gonna put that to the side again the print side is this way facing you and it prints from the back down so it's a smooth flow I like that there's no it's grabbing from the tray it's gonna bring it up and then print it just prints straight from the top that's it I like that I love that actually man this video is becoming long let me pause it and uh, I'll print my logo all right guys so right now we're at my laptop and we need something to print okay cool so this is my logo we're gonna send the logo to the printer okay uh, control P all right so let's send it over the size look right full page and it's on landscape excellent let's send it over. all right guys I'm gonna have to end the video you're gonna have to see part two um coming up so as soon as I'm done posting this video I have part two in part two I'm gonna let me turn around real quick. I'm gonna go to uh, it's my basement. I'm gonna go to the heat press. I'm gonna heat press a shirt, and it's going to be using the um, the cannon. So like I said, I have it loaded with submission ink. I have everything ready to go. I did uh, pre testing. All right, so it's all set. It's good to go. It's ready. And we're going to make things happen. All right. Again, this is Levi Apparel. Like and subscribe. Next uh, part two, you're going to see me press a shirt sublimated with the Canon 1220G uh, uh, printer. What is this again? Eh. You know, we'll just call it EcoTank. Whatever. Canon's going to hate me for this, but hey, it is what it is. All right. Cool. So um that's it all right get ready for the next one all right part two coming up